friends. Today we are going to make some hush puppies. And just a quick little backstory. This is Kennedy's nanny. Hello. And her name is Karen. And she makes wonderful hush puppies. And Christopher used to come home from Alabama and say, Mama, they make the best hush puppies. I said, hush puppies. I've never heard anybody rave about hush puppies. But they are wonderful. Fluffy, light. And she's going to teach us how. So just use two cups of self-rising cornmeal and one cup of self-rising flour. Okay. And then I put, I put over a tablespoon of baking powder in that, even though it's self-rising, I put over a tablespoon. Uh-huh. Then I will add eggs and buttermilk to consistency. I, I have no idea how much I add. Yeah. Okay. I gotta get, I forgot to get the buttermilk out. Let me do that. Oh, we gotta have buttermilk. And we're having a fish fry, and look with this little guy. We got a little guy with us. Aren't you precious? <laughs> We're having a fish fry with our friends. And they're over here doing the cooking. Isn't that sad? All right, so you're getting buttermilk uh, in there. Plenty for us. You're just gonna do I'm it making to, a lot tonight, so to consistency of this. So so for one batch, uh tell me how much um I don't know. I don't never measure the buttermilk. Okay. Um because you know so for one batch different of different humidities is different, you right. know. When you, you could you could probably put like a cup of buttermilk in it, and then if you see it needs more, just add more. Okay. And mm -hmm. I don't measure the jalapenos, and I do not measure the onions in it. Okay. So I need to get those spoon out for these. Yes, ma'am. Whenever you know that there's a good cook going, it's always somebody that don't measure. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, we like jalapenos. All our people know that. And sometimes I add a little water to it. Show me that jar of jalapenos just so they'll know. It's it's kind of a minced. Um, it's a diced jalapeno pepper. Yes, it's already. And you can use fresh in if you want to, but we just, we don't ever have fresh. And you do onion too in I there? Mm -hmm. A lot of onion. You already probably diced for one it? Batch, probably for one batch of onion. I mean, of hush puppies, you would use at least one onion cut up. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you just minced it too, yeah. or diced it. I just diced it up. I love how you're just pouring it together. That means it's gonna be good. Now there's a secret to this, and she's already shared this, and, um, a little bit of water. We're on the other side of the kitchen today. See, we got her husband over there frying the fish. Let's see what consistency. Now, this recipe actually come from your mother, right? Right. And where did she get it? I don't know. I don't know either. Hey, Made it as long been, as you can remember? She's been making for years. Right. Yeah, and long she's long gone long. now, I'm yeah, sure. She's but been she been doing a long time. So this is a good family recipe. So I never made them until after she passed away. And then Tony started making them. Mm -hmm. And uh, then he got to where he made me make them. So the secret, tell me what the secret the is. The secret is once you get them stirred up like you want them stirred up, the consistency you want, you do not, they rise up, you do not stir them down. That's the secret. That's why they're so light, y'all. to be I a, put some jal more jalapenos in okay it. you get it to the consistency i would say of like a a pancake little thicker pancake? yeah pancake, pancake batter yeah uh, the looser the better yeah but they're hard to let it go they make a mess but they're better tell me what do you think you don't want it right. runny, but you yeah. want it uh, yeah. almost runny, I guess. Right. Yeah. But the onions will, will make it full apart if you don't watch out. Make it separate. I think I've got it down in there. I should have got a bigger spoon. Here, let me give you a bigger spoon. I don't know why we didn't think of that. How about this big old spoon? Yeah. See, that's gonna be a, I want a fill of it. Oh yeah. 
I can feel it is like a pancake batter. Yeah, this is better. So I'm gonna make sure I get all that out of the bottom. Mm -hmm. Tony, what do you think now? I have to ask him. He's the one that dips them. Mm, a, bit, a, little, a little bit more? Yeah, a little bit more. Okay. Okay. And, yeah. Like start I said, them, this, is, them up, this is a much bigger batch than what I usually make. And then how long does it need to sit before we start frying? Yeah, it doesn't take them very long to rise. Do I need to do You'll see them. Fish, like, 10, 15 minutes, longer? Probably, okay. Probably about 10 minutes. Okay. So you're just going to bring it over here? I'll just leave it right here. He can, because he's got something. And just let it rise until it's time to go to uh, fix it. And then we're going to be back to show you what we use to dip it out. Okay, now she has, um, we haven't stirred them. And she uses, what size is this, Sister Karen? Is that an eight, eight or eighteen? It's on the back. It's an eighteen. Oh. It's an I'm pretty 18, sure it's an 18. It's an 18 is the size that they like to use. Yeah, 18 five. Okay. Say, say five or six. I'm not sure without my glasses, I'm the wrong person to ask. But it's, it's a, 18, it's an 18 five. It's a smaller one and, and remember, we do not stir it. And we're just gonna get some and we're gonna get this oil up. Okay, so you just get you a dab, mm -hmm. you stick it in your hot grease, a little water, well that's the trick, okay, y'all these are so good, Yum. Uh, temperature are you frying that on? Around 345, Okay. Fishy. Okay. Try to go around 345. Yeah. Can turn it down a little bit if they're getting too done on the outside before they get done on the inside. All right, so she's got one batch they got done. And some of them's already been snitching them. No. Oh, we're good. We're good. Y'all, I don't know if we got enough to eat here. What do y'all think? We made so many that we froze them. And I got to thinking, you know, when you buy hush puppies, they are in the freezer section. So what would be wrong with me freezing these and then either putting them back in some grease to fry them for a little while like we do when we buy them or just putting them in the air fryer because they are totally done. And uh, y'all, I can't emphasize enough how light and fluffy these are. They are just, the consistency is, is just extremely light. So these is what we had left over, and um, we ate a lot. <laughs> but uh, I'm excited for y'all to try these. These are so so good, and I hope you do give them a try. Because if you don't even really halfway like hush puppies, you will fall in love with hush puppies after trying these. All right, guys, we'll we'll see y'all next time. Until then, keep looking to the east. Bye.